Good morning. I'm here at HFA in Vienna 2018 and I've just presented the results of the CRT survey number two, comparing patients upgraded to CRT compared to those receiving de novo. And why is this interesting? Well, just people are doing upgrades, but there simply is no guidelines indication for it. The class 2B level of evidence B, meaning that you may consider it, but not that you should do it. Yet, about one fourth of all CRT recipients, 10 years ago when we did the first survey and now with the new survey, are upgrades. And what we showed is that such patients are older, they are sicker, uh, worse heart failure condition, they are more often pacemaker dependent, uh, and they uh, have a worse heart failure disease condition in terms of functional class, in terms of renal function, more atrial fibrillation, and uh, higher anti-pro BMP. But the implant upgrading to the CRT was just as successful as for those receiving de novo CRT, so not more complications. Everything went fine, and the quality of the procedure was the same. So uh, in spite of people being of the opinion that it may be more complex to upgrade compared to giving de novo CRT, it's not uh, what we've shown. And our results does indicate that because people do this in about one fourth of the cases, we must have a trial that looks at upgrading in particular. And there is one such ongoing, the Budapest, which compares patients being upgraded to a CRT compared to not being upgraded to CRT. So we look forward to those results.